Tell us a little bit about Munio while I'm trying to Skype them in here. Let's see if I can Absolutely. get that thing turned on. Munio is a self-defense uh, keychain that you can put on and basically kind of works like a Kubaton that uh, a lot of us have had over the years, but it doesn't look like a weapon. It doesn't look like a self-defense instrument. It looks more like a keychain, but they're going to give us a lot more information on it here in just a second. Phil and Michelle, uh, did I have you? I think so. Hello. Yeah, we got the audio and everything. What do you know? We made it work. Hey, so glad to have you guys back. And you know what? Uh, we've been getting a lot of folks are interested in the Munio products, and there's a lot more to it. It's not just a keychain, is it? No. No, not at all. Uh, you know, the, the whole idea, you know, came about because I'm actually, it really saddens me as a martial arts instructor to have to try to teach people after the fact. I mean, I've taught people who've been uh, victims of rape and, uh, you know, criminal violence. And always makes me feel I wish they had had a layer of defense that may have prevented that right from the beginning. Um, martial arts and other types of you know self defense uh, are great options, but I wanted to make something that was a little more inviting for the average person, something they'd be much more willing to carry, uh, would be more discreet, yet was absolutely as functional as other you know self defense and martial arts tools. And that's where the idea for Munio, you know, came from. I also have a graphic arts background. Um, for instance, used to work on snowboard design and stuff like that, and other graphics. I thought if I could combine these two elements together, make something that was appealing, um, innocent looking, yet can still do damage as it would need to do to defend yourself, then uh, that would work. And that's where Munio came from. Um, as Scott mentioned, it has origins uh, and similarities to other martial arts tools, uh, palm stick, uh, you know, more commonly, more recently, the uh, Kubaton. Um, when you hold it properly in a hammer style uh, grip, and you don't need to have a lot of extension beyond the lower finger at all, this is your force multiplier impact tool and strike. And by using your keys on the other end as a whip or a flail, you have an added bonus. And that gives you the uh, practicality of, say, other tools such that you may swing, a such as a monkey with fist, a monkey solid metal ball in there. Um, you know, it has, again, similarities to, you know, tactical pens and such, but has more versatility because, again, you have a keychain, and you also have the secondary option of using your keys as a flail. And you can take it on an airplane. Take it on yeah. an airplane. And, and the shape of it is very easy to hold, not like that pen you were showing us. Uh, I, I can see uh, that not really working because you don't have enough purchase on that thing. Yeah, it, it, you, you need to have something where you can really grab onto it. And uh, uh, you can't do that with a pen, I don't think. I mean, unless you're, of course, uh, John Wick. Yeah. I mean, you know. John Wick could do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, not only did I want to make the design, uh, you know, uh, stylish and, you know, ergonomic, uh, but yeah, you're correct. You, you can hold this and, you know, it uh, fits comfortably in your hand, and yet I have, you know, have a very comfortable grip, even with repeated and powerful striking. Um, has stayed in my hand. Some people will tend to hold it and, you know, maybe put their thumb on the back. It doesn't really matter. It's just as effective and comfortable grip. Now, you were mentioning style. Yeah, Michelle, you were mentioning style. You've got, you know, we've been showing folks our, our favorite, but that may not be what everybody wants, right? Yeah. Yes, we have 16 current designs in the collection, ranging from flowers and pink. We have dragons. We have camo. We have crosses. We have skulls. We have lots of different designs, and you can see them on our site. We also do custom branding, where you can put your logo uh, on your Munio. You can put your contact information. We can do two sides. Oh, I gave it to you upside down. Sorry. <laughs> so there you go and uh, you know does it matter if it's for your organization if you have a special cause a fundraiser whatever we can we can make it any way you like now I as you were showing us those there's a design on both sides right that's yes. correct. And, and very handsome and, and Phil you did most of these designs correct. all yeah. of them yeah. yeah yeah like I said my background is in commercial art and design so uh, you know, I've been doing uh, personalization graphics and, and, you know, graphics overall printed materials uh, for most of my life. 
I was actually doing that longer than martial arts, you know, and, uh, you know, this, this it was a great connection to put these two together because uh, if you can personalize a product or make a product more attractive and stylish, particularly for the, you know, the main uh, target audience, women, if you can make them actually be more willing to carry a tool or, or a product that they can use uh, or encourage them to carry it regularly, then they have an added layer of defense. Yeah, we are a, we are a bigger target. And, um, statistically, by yeah, far. statistically. And I mean, martial artists love these too, obviously. You know, this is a great toy for a, for a martial artist, male or female. But uh, yeah, we, we, if it doesn't match our purse or shoes, sometimes we can be difficult. So this, uh, you know, really helps us out. Self-defense, with <laughs> self-defense with a fashion statement there, and That's also right. um, personal safety with style. And uh, we also have a free downloadable ebook that you can get when you uh, go on our site uh, that goes over various common street attacks and what you can do with the Muno. There's different. We have it's fully illustrated. And there's some common, you know, common sense safety tips in here too. But you can download it, print it, and uh, we also offer a free self-defense series. It's called uh, self-defense moves that everyone should know, and that basically goes over uh, common street attacks with and without Muno, because yeah. you're not always going to have something on you at, at all times. So. so you're Never saying, out. so you're saying you have a PDF that explains that, and that's actually downloadable. Is there a cost associated with that? No, nope, absolutely free. It's free. It's and, free. And then, what about the training classes? You were mentioning some training videos. That's important. Uh, is there a cost associated with that? And how many videos are there? The videos are free. The, it's a series of ten. You just subscribe to them, and you'll get them uh, in an email. And uh, we also offer our Muno self-defense workshops, which Phil and I, um, our forces joined, worked out really well because he's the self-defense expert and uh, I'm not, <laughs> and I'm a woman. So it really helped uh, in forming the workshop that we did. It's a one hour hands-on practice workshop we deliver to colleges and universities, hospital staff, law firms, anybody who wants to, you know, um, do a live workshop. We do deliver that, and uh, it's very, very simple and very, very effective moves. And uh, we also have uh, martial artists, law enforcement officers, military officers who are certified as Muno self defense instructors all over the country and growing throughout the world. We just recently certified someone in Budapest, Hungary, which was very exciting. So you were telling me that before that if you're all you have to do is come to your website and 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 uh, put in your zip code you could find an instructor somebody like Scott here now uh, he's a big target yeah. and uh, uh, in, in no one in his right mind is going to attack him but somebody looks at me and they say oh that guy doesn't know what he's doing if I get one of these you say I can put in a zip code and find a, a trainer close to you Yes, we have about 100 trainers in the U.S. and growing, um, but because of the demand and the request that we get for wanting a Muno instructor in their area, we are producing a downloadable, a downloadable workshop. So anybody from anywhere can purchase it and download it and do it in the comfort of their living room. You know, they can have a self-defense party, you know, cocktail instead of cocktails in color, they can do Cocktails and self-defense. Yeah. yeah. And then tell us a little bit about, uh, we're coming up to the holidays here, and uh, tell us what's going on for the holidays. You, we sent out an email to our uh, subscribers, and they were real interested in the Muno, of course, but what's going on for Black Friday? It's right around the corner. We have, you can save 15 uh, percent on your purchase, your entire purchase, and there's a, a promo code that you'll see in the email that you're sending out. They'll have a promo code to just type in at checkout and it'll deduct 15 percent off the entire purchase. Well, that makes a lot of sense uh, if people are just watching this and they're, they're seeing it on YouTube. Where yep. else, Scott? Uh, just about everywhere. All social media, the Facebook, YouTube. Uh, Instagram, all these, uh, all this stuff's posting up there. But one of the things also I wanted to po point out is that uh, you can personally attest to the the effectiveness of these tools uh, due to the fact that when I was 
not everybody knows my background, but I spent about six, seven years working in the maximum security federal penitentiary, and we had a lot of big brass keys, and they were about the size of this, maybe a little bit longer, but we would use these in this same fashion. So you would be going around unlocking all these big, giant iron gates and stuff in the prison, but you always kept your keys in your hand, so that way if, if you're doing something, then you can use them for the pressure points in the joint locks, but then you also could flip them over, but the keys were about as big as this, so big, giant brass keys that we could use these in the, in the same fashion as what we're trying to do here, but you can't carry around big, giant skeleton keys like that every day. That's right, and <laughs> people, the key fobs are getting yeah. smaller and smaller, but having this on, on, on yeah. there makes it easy. It sure does. Now, if our, our viewers are watching this through social media, and we're going to be posting it out and, and sharing it, and if you haven't subscribed yet to our email blast, you need to. Just go to gunstuff.tv. At the bottom of every page, you'll see uh, a place to subscribe. And if you get our email, then you're going to be getting the code that Michelle was talking about. What's that code again, Michelle? It's uh, GSTV11. One nine. Well, if I were you then, folks, I would just subscribe to us and get it in the email make it a lot easier. Well, folks, thanks so much for being back on our show. We're going to be hearing more from Muno in the very near future. I'd like to encourage folks to look at these videos, the training videos. What do you think, Scott? That sounds like a real, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it, and being able to take these tools and use them properly, the, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of ways to use these things that a lot of people don't think about. And you're just going on and spending a couple minutes uh, reviewing the video is going to open a whole world of resources to the person that may, that's going to be using this as a self-defense instrument. So uh, just the techniques and the proper positioning, things like that, is, is having it in a video and having that visual aid is, is a much better training tool than trying to hear it from a friend or something like that. And, and uh, Michelle, yeah. you were telling us about those videos again. Uh, what kind of videos and how many are there on the website? Are they easy to find? How do you get to them? Oh, yeah. If you go on our website, MunozSelfDefense.com, there's an actual at the top that says videos. You can watch those. On the homepage, if you want to subscribe to the free self-defense series of uh, simple self-defense moves everyone should know, then uh, it's right on the home page and you just click on there and put your little your email address in there and yeah you'll get the first email and then you'll get all 10. We, and if you want them sooner if you don't want to wait just email me and I'll send them all to you I'll send you all the links. Well that sounds great you know Michelle we've got some emails coming out I think in the next week every week we're going to start feature some more links so that our, our uh, audience has a better chance of, of getting the kind of training that they can do themselves. And, and this is the type of, uh, of, you could call this a weapon, because it certainly is a self-defense weapon, yeah. and anyone can afford this, and you can give it out to everyone for Christmas. And the retail price on this, again, is? nine ninety five, and they do. They make great stocking stuffers, too. Well, Phil, Michelle, thanks for being on our show again. And, uh, thanks for having us.